Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and as well Gemini Rising weekly tarot reading November 25th uh, to December 1st, uh, 2019. And just hold on with me, guys, to a shuffle the cards to give him really a good riffle. And uh, we're going to plunge right into it. All right, so the first one which represents the topic of uh, your week, Gemini, is going to be the Two of Swords, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week. We have the Six of Wands. Afterwards is going to be the positive aspect of the week which stands as the Three of Swords. And then the last one here that will be the guidance that Tarot is offering. Um, we have the Five of, uh, the five of Wands. Hmm. It's quite of a um, <laughs> it's quite of an interesting one here. All right, so um, two of swords is going to be uh, catalyzed by the sun card. So we have an, an active friend, and uh, the week itself is going to be simultaneously a passive and as well very kind of like a i cannot say stressful but tense okay it's tense because you got to you, you well this is how this is how it's gonna go so you are gonna sit into a point of equilibrium everything around you is going to be very stable and i mean very very stable and from there you will need to decide where to go to uh, in a direction of a, a growth because there will be more than just one direction of growth for you Okay, maybe you will have to decide in between two people to be with maybe you will have to decide in between two uh, projects that you can work on but the thing is that every decision is going to be just as good as the other one. And I mean just as good, not just as bad. There, There is only good decisions that you can make here. And that will also be a problem for you, a um, Gemini. It is because, uh, you know, you may have that uh, dilemma within you to want to have it all, but ultimately you can go only one path and not the other. All right. And it's not even a, a against what you want to do and what you have to do. There is both things you will want to do. All right. And which one that will be the problem. So um, that this is why the situation is going to be very, very tense. And usually how uh, one overcomes that situation with the two of swords here. It is that why, and especially as the sun card is catalyzing it, one needs to allow those opportunities to develop naturally and as they are developing naturally the uh, right decision will become obvious for you okay uh, <clears throat> at some point 
one of the uh, one of the options available is gonna lean heavier in wealth or in happiness and that is the one you get needless to say here that you are going to be very very enthusiastic for what is ahead i mean very very enthusiastic and uh, that will kind of like charge you with quite of a, a positive um positive energies. You can expect throughout the week to really settle the score and under settling the score I mean to bury down the hatchets of war with someone that you had wrangles beforehand and uh, now I today I spoke with my uh, assistant you know and um, we were talking about say things of uh, things of life and I mentioned Rangos and you know I asked her do you know what Rango is she said yeah a, a small argument actually in my vocabulary dictionary and under dictionary I mean the dictionary on my computer um, now Rango it's described as a uh, argument with futile outcome what I mean is that no one wins so this is what I mean on the rangos. You are to settle down such kind of arguments, which are rangos, which nobody wins from them, and they can prolong themselves until um, the world ends, and no one is going to have the upper hand. But uh, it seems that this week you both are going to, um, with whom you have those rangos, you know, you both are going to prefer not to have them anymore. And from there, you know, there will be only, uh, for what it seems, a pleasant experiences in between you two, at least for the duration of this week. So what is going to be the challenge? We have the uh, six of wands and that will be catalyzed here with the, world, with the emperor card. And man could this be a more um, sophisticated that is the challenge so you would you would have want the whole situation that you have to choose from to be simpler so you can finally make your decision which path of growth you are to take right which person to choose or which job to choose and so on and so forth and be done with it so that will be the challenge the uh, patience to reap the fruits of the labor and through as you are patient to have uh, to show yourself reliable and structured enough to carry on with the ordinary ordeals that the week is giving to you like the ordeals in your family the ordeals in your job and uh, so on and so forth so it's kind of like not putting all of your mind into the um into the directions of growth until you actually don't make up your mind i know that that kind of doesn't make much sense but you know it's um it's like daydreaming right and instead of that you may want to put a more effort into um how can i say it um into the more trivial stuff that uh, <clears throat> you face on a, a daily basis and therefore as you put more efforts into there you will be able to structure them, structure them better and as you will be able to structure them better then you will have more free time to, to think of those say uh, um multiple directions of growth that you can take but once again very important here it is to uh, allow those um, opportunities to develop a little bit more naturally and then as you wait like I said you know the right decision will become pretty pretty obvious to you and on, a gr on the grimmer side those um uh, two cards may point to a certain depreciation what i mean it is that although you proved you, you showed yourself capable um someone does not appreciate you and does not give you the rewards you deserve and that could be actually the pushing thing for you to decide a another direction for growth and not the current one right that could be as well a uh, the thing that you are waiting for so the other card points to the positive aspect and that will be the tree of swords uh, accompanied with the nine of wands so we do have an, an active friends into this position and that touches a little bit on a different topic um, good opportunities there are good opportunities but also those two cards here are pointing that the, the rougher it becomes 
the better you become, all right? So you will work exceptionally well or you are going to perform exceptionally well when you are cornered with your back against the wall. At that point, okay, okay, when the blade is hitting the bone or is touching the bone, you will be amazed what kind of things you can do. I mean, you, you are going to be surprised of yourself and God helps your rivals or people that are trying to do you wrong here with these two cards. I mean, you are going to have no remorse whatsoever for those people. But also, those two cards on a positive note are pointing for some sort of a, an experience that is going to play a, a vital and very, very substantial role in this uh, in this week for you. As you draw from that experience, and by the way, that is a poignant experience, you are very well going to... Um, identify and recognize what things, what is the thing you need to readapt. And I'm not talking about change, I'm talking about readaptation here. And through that readaptation, you are to be able to face in a more suitable fashion, if you will, you know, this um, these opportunities uh, for growth that are coming. You know, it, it's all about that when it, it's kind, it kind of makes sense. I mean, while you're waiting, for the um, right decision to become obvious, you know, why don't you make some sort of a sp spring cleaning, if you will, uh, things that you don't need or uh, re-adopt or kind of like, uh, yeah, re-adopt. Was that the word that I said? Yeah, readaptation. So re-adopt things that right now are only, you know, slogging you down and are not allowing you to have a more mm, fluid fluid life where everything is in flux. And the last one, uh, it will be regarding the uh, pos the guidance here that will be the Five of Wands and it's accompanied with the Seven of Swords. So we do have an, an active friend into this position and it looks like that that refers to very uh, to pretty much a surprises that you can expect throughout the week. There are to be a lot of surprises and for you to uh, kind of like get the most out of it, you need to have a strong backbone, all right? And this happens while you are waiting the decision to become obvious, okay? So you need to show a strong backbone because those surprises could be taken by anybody. What I mean is that their success is anybody's guess. If if that's the expression. And for that reason, you need to have that readiness to jump into action, to uh, perform uh, around turns, if you will, okay, to be agile, to be flexible, to be adaptable as well. The adaptivity we talked about in the previous couple of a uh, positions, but above everything else, once again, you need to stand for your right. You need to show that you do have a strong backbone and you should give give up or give away, you know, a good opportunities to someone else just because you want to look um, nice, you want to look charitable and you want to look, how do you say it, when you sacrifice something of yourself for someone else so they can feel good and you can look graceful, right? So yeah, that was uh, your tarot reading, uh, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other next time. Until then, <clears throat> excuse me, until then, bye.